Hello, good day. You are welcome to Growth Pills where we share tips and strategies on how to grow your business, finance, and personal life. And today we want to look at the three core lessons we can learn from the book by Mr. Shegwarowulu called The Budding CEO. It's a very good book for any new startup. Budding means something that is just developing. It means you are just starting out or you are already in it, but you are trying to figure out your way. So it's a very good recommendation for anyone who is just starting out in business or you are new in business or you are even intending to, to start your own business one day. You know, the first thing you need in business is knowledge. People think it's money, but I want to tell you from my own personal experience, I haven't started a business sometimes ago when I had money and the business failed. And I can tell you that the first thing you need when starting out in a business is knowledge. You need the knowledge of the products you want to sell, of the services you want to render. You need a knowledge of yourself. You need the knowledge of the market you want to sell to. You need the market, you need the knowledge of the, your target audience. Having said this, let's look at these three core lessons. And these three core lessons that we are looking at is just for chapter chapter one. So you can get the book in any nearby bookstore book around you, or you go on Amazon for further reading. Let's jump into it. Start from where you are with what you have. I can tell you this truly, even from personal experience, that you need to start from where you are. You need to start from where you are with what you have. Many people should have started their business, should have started their projects, but they are waiting until a perfect time. I want to tell you there's nothing, there's nothing called perfect time. Perfect timing is a myth. There is always something you will see that you need. So the best thing is for you to start from where you are. And Mr. Shenko also said this in that book. And I also will tell you that you need to start with, from where you are with what you have. With what you have. In, the, in one book, it is called Minimum Viable Products. You don't need all the products. You can start as a broker. You can start as an arbitrage where you source for goods and you begin to sell. It is not compulsory. It is not under must that you have your own products that you begin to produce. The products you want to start selling in mass, first of all, be a broker, which means start as a middleman. Know the market you want to sell to. Start small. Start from where you are. Then you can now scale up. Some people will tell you, you need, you need ah, a lot of money to start business. I want to tell you that to start a business, from moving from zero to one, you don't need the money. The first thing you need is knowledge. And you can start as an arbitrage, you can start as a broker, you can start as a middleman. Source for the products somewhere, maybe where they are being produced, and look for the people to sell to. Then... From there, you would have known what is working. From what is not working, you cannot think of how to scale. But I need to tell you this. Start from where you are with what you have. Enough of procrastination. Enough of postponing the day that you are going to start. You are going to start when I have this, when you have that. All those things are excuses. That is the second one. Idea is not enough. Idea is not enough. Some people will tell you the only thing you need to start a business is the idea. I want to tell you that that may be sincere, but it's not accurate. Idea is not the only thing you have. You need to know how to sell the idea. If you don't know how to sell the idea, then you'll be frustrated. So that's why they will tell you as a business owner, you need to know how to sell because knowing how to sell is critical, is fundamental in business. You need to know how to sell your idea to your customers. Many people have great products, they have great ideas, they have great services, but at the end, they don't know how to sell. They don't know how to communicate it to the people who need these products, who need these ideas. They can't communicate it to them. So, idea is not enough. You need to know how to sell, how to market these products, how to communicate this idea to your investors, to your partners, to your um, to your customers. So it is not idea is not enough. Learn how to sell along with this idea. You may have a great idea, you may have a million dollar worth of idea, but it's worth nothing if you cannot sell it. It's worth nothing if you cannot sell the idea. So 
in this book i learned that idea is not enough and i am telling you that as well now that idea is not enough then what is the number three point don't use a bank loan to start a business don't use a bank loan to start a business that is true to scale a business yes you can use a bank loan but to start because nobody gives you a guarantee that the business is going to prosper as you planned many people will do business plan eventually by the time they get to reality which is the marketplace they will see that ah, their plan did not go accordingly it is stated that okay for the first two years of your business see it as a survivor mode as a survivor period what you are thinking what you are aiming at is to break even so why will you now use bank loan or a, a loan that is the interest rate is arbitrary that is high on the high side to start a business nobody gives you a guarantee that the business is going to go as planned it's going to come out fine why we are not praying for disaster we are not praying that it will not sell but you also need to know that in on your journey to success I need to say this on your journey to success failure is part of your journey so you need to envisage what if i don't sell this what if this does not go as planned so that's why you don't start with loan with bank loan start with your own money whatever you can you can gather on your own bootstrap which means retain earnings retain profits the money you have made take out of it then put it back into, into the business so don't start with bank loan it is it is deadly to start with bank loan because the truth is the interest the interest will be counting and you still need to pay back the principal and don't forget in this part of the world in nigeria for instance the uh, another part of the world they usually give a, a, a time period called moratorium where they give you six months a year to to do your business then after a year you can start repaying but and what gives you the assurance that the business will start bringing in profits i think with these three points you can see that it's truly a book worth reading and i really recommend it so go on youtube you go on amazon you're going to get it or look for it around around the bookstores around you and it's a a book that is good for those who are just starting out in business those who are looking out to start one day or those who just started not quite long and trying to figure out how to develop their business how to grow their business if you are new to this channel we play, uh, i play with you to please subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can join the notification squad and get alerted whenever we post a new video and kindly share and like if this content has helped you in one way or the other until we meet in our next video thank you